Good morning guys and welcome to Thursday. I woke up to incredible news this morning because I am now an aunt for the second time. This morning at 5 a.m. my brother got a new daughter, a daughter, the first one and it's so exciting for the whole family so yeah I think it's gonna be a good day. customer that came by this weekend for the first time after COVID-19 she brought me flowers and she have found them in their nearby forest they're so cute and they're starting to pop these are like the first sign of spring just picked up a very exciting silk box let's go open it up So recycled one-of-a-kind skirts with an elastic waist that's beautiful let's look at this color this is also beautiful when you lose something, you can't so that is <laughs> the mood today i'm drinking i'm on my second glass of iced coffee of the day because i didn't really feel awake and so i thought it would be good to just start with some flat lay product images today before i'm gonna shoot some pieces on myself so i'm shooting this one that's gonna go up tomorrow friday and i thought it would be lovely to make like a layout with some new earrings and some some of our rings in here to really show how you can use it and i think it looks super duper like classy <laughs> it's almost a proud feeling each week when i manage to get the boutique back into shape and ready to be open tomorrow because throughout the week it all looks like a total mess creative space but it's good now i just need to vacuum clean the floor tomorrow and then we are good to go time completely slipped through my fingers today it's five o'clock I've not photographed one single royalty kimono as I planned. I've just had so many products to edit and upload and prepare for the drop tomorrow and some new design work. So time just passed. And now it's five o'clock, I'm heading out with orders and then I have a date with my boyfriend. So I should get going. Hey guys welcome to friday welcome to an opening day welcome to a drop day i think for once i'm actually pretty on top of things that i need to prepare for the drop later today i packed orders yesterday so it's strange to be so yeah these earrings i'm wearing are by the way also going to drop on the webshop today they're so pretty and like simple and I should also get a really exciting delivery today with a new Finnish design that's a dress and some samples that should be put into production this spring. So it's a good Friday and the sun is shining. I've recently made a few decisions about the store 
one thing is that this table is going to go soon. I just don't really like it. I don't think it has a purpose anymore. It's so hard to lay out things and have it looking decent. And I think the overall table is too dark in the wood. So I think that's going to go. I just need to figure out what I want there. And then I've also decided I'm going to paint over the blue wall here and lightened it up and I've asked Sophie to come and paint flowers in here um, at some point throughout spring hopefully so we're gonna get like a floor theme in the fitting room and this is gonna be bright instead um, because I think it's just a little bit of a dark corner and I would like to lighten it up so even though I loved this and I think it's adorable I just need something lighter for spring Pretty patterns. Aren't they beautiful? Every single color scheme and print. I love this one. So the skirts have been hung up to dry and the sun came out which is amazing. Today, while I was at work, I got a delivery of my newest dress design that I would love to show you and try on. So this is the dress. It's made of my favorite material, brocade, and it's dark green with gold details. And now I think I should try it on. I know that this light is pretty unflattering, but this is what the dress looks like on. So it's made a little wide up here so that you can wear a blouse underneath. It has pockets. One on each side. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I think it's been worth the wait. It was supposed to have gone up last week, but it hadn't arrived by then. So I think it's gonna be up sometime next week, maybe in the Friday drop. Why am I... focus on me please. Um, it will probably be up on Friday, so yeah, I hope that you guys like it. Hey guys, it feels like summer if you are sat in the car today. It is the prettiest weather. And I've just closed the boutique. I sometimes I feel like when I film several days like working in the boutique, I sometimes feel like I just repeat myself and show you the same things over and over again. So I did not feel like blocking my work day today, but I'm off now. I've closed for the week and now I'm heading out to meet my niece for the first time. And I can't wait to see her, maybe hold her, and just know that I'm going to watch this small thing grow up it's gonna be so cool i can't wait so i'm heading home i'm very excited check this out i'm gonna do this for the first time this year summer is coming <laughs> I thought it would be a good time to give you an update on my situation while I put some dye in my hair. I've been meaning to give you an update on the house hunt situation and my life in general because so much is going on inside my brain at the minute. I still have not heard from the bank about how much I can loan to buy a house 
which means that the house that I was looking at and quite liked is still in the market and up for grabs for anybody else to purchase. On top of that, something unexpected happened as something that has just turned my whole situation around in a way and made me even more insecure about what's going on and what I'm supposed to do because for a long time it's been a struggle for me to park around the boutique and I've actually for like two years I've been trying to make it work by moving my car around and the thing is that you can only park for one hour in front of my boutique and there is nowhere near the boutique where you can park like throughout the day so I contacted the authorities here in Denmark and I had heard that you could get a parking license you could apply for a parking li license if you had a business or if you lived somewhere in the city or you can park so I got in contact with them a few weeks ago and the first woman I talked to, she seemed pretty positive. She told me that I had to talk to a man called Tors and he would call me back as soon as he got home from his vacation. And he, she sounded so positive, like, you can for sure get a parking license, you just have to talk to this man. So I was very positive and it was at that point that I then made my decision that I was going to stay in the city so that I could keep my boutique and then I would like buy a house in the city and everything was going to be pretty good and I had like settled with that thought and that solution but then I talked to Tors this I think it was Friday last week and he told me what I wasn't hoping to hear that I can't get a parking license it's like they have different zones in the city where you can apply for a parking license and they keep taking in new zones but it takes so long because it's a matter of politicians to accept it. So he told me that they weren't going to look at the zone that my boutique is in for a couple of years. So I wouldn't be able to get a parking license for a year or two. And that turned my whole situation upside down because it actually means that I now have a pretty hard time figuring out how I'll be able to stay working from that location if I can park and I can bring my car because so many days a week I bring stuff, I fill up my car with orders, with cardboard to get recycled, with so many different things that I just am so dependent on my car it made me feel so insecure about what I was going to do once again after I had just made up my mind so right now <laughs> it looks like I need to find a different location for my web shop to rethink if I need to have a boutique or if I just want to run a web shop I need to figure out where I want to live and uh, and then the war broke out in Ukraine last week and that has also made me feel so many different things one thing is that I feel like a total prick for having my own small individual problems when there are things going on in the world that are so much worse but I can't, it can take away the fact that I'm so unsure about what my future looks like and the war that is going on in Ukraine, I think has also made... I think it has a bigger impact on how I feel than I thought. Because I've been feeling so... Fragile. And like, emotional. And confused. And scared. And... I think what's happening to a lot of people right now, from what I can sense, is that... We were so ready to go back to like a normal life, things were going to open up again and we could see an end to COVID-19. And now this has happened. After so long where the world has been an unsure, scary, close place, 
I think it's just affecting us getting pushed back to like no things aren't gonna be okay right now things are not gonna get back to normal now we're just facing such a huge terrifying thing that's going on again and it's like we were just going out of the darkness and now it's like I also really want to ask you if you can donate a small amount to help the people in Ukraine that would be amazing right now I have also donated I keep up with the news I do understand that for some people this is very overwhelming and sometimes you want to turn it off and focus on something else so that's why my channel is gonna keep moving forward I want to create videos for you so that you can take a break once in a while and I'm not here to be someone to be like <sighs> constantly going on about the horror that's going on in the world um, this is not what I'm here for but if you can donate if you can help if you can share information on your Instagram on how your friends can help that would really be amazing and I'm not making this segment of the video to like ask for your ideas believe me I'm talking to my mom I'm talking to my boyfriend like we're going through so many things um, because there are so many more aspects to this decision than what I'm telling you guys but we I could talk for hours so I'm not asking for like your inputs I just really want to explain like what's going on am I buying a house <laughs> where am I going to move I don't know I don't know anything anything right now and now I'm going to wait for my hair to be done then I'm gonna wash it out I think we'll leave it in for like half an hour these brows I left that dye on for a little too long and also for another time I should not be talking to you guys while I dye my hair <laughs> I have so many spots that I missed but I think after that long chat I'm going to end what was an attempt to make a new weekly vlog I'm gonna end it here <laughs> I know it's over all over the place but that's where my head has been lately so I think that's just how it has to be I hope that you enjoyed it even though it was a little chaotic with no real like theme of the video I'm on my way out my boyfriend and I we have like a Tuesday date just because we felt like it so I'm gonna meet him in the city in a little bit I'm wearing a new vintage jacket that you're gonna see in a haul video that's gonna be the next one with some spring items and I'm wearing the trousers that you can also see in that video so that's going to be the next one and uh, if you enjoyed this video despite it being all over the place please leave a thumbs up I hope to hear from the bank sometime this week I have so much to get done. I'm going to make or host a um, vintage stock clearance sale in the boutique on Saturday. So there is so much preparation to do. I will try my best to vlog that progress process. And yeah, this is a very, um, I've been talking so much by the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to see you soon.